Welcome to 2023. I'm so delighted to be able to do this first energy forecast of this year. There's an amazing energy that's coming in for this January time. It's it's a really interesting paradoxical energy because it's a pink, it's a beautiful vibration. And normally when we see that vibration of pink, whether that's in the human energy field or the cosmic energy field, there's a real gentleness to it. Indeed, this January has that gentleness, but it's kind of a steely pink. And in some ways that doesn't make any sense at all, but it's about that the power at your own core, the determination of your heart energy. Those are two big themes of this month. My name is Prune Harris and I'm an energy expert. I've been able to see the human energy field and the energy all around us since I was born. And one of the things I love about working with understanding energy is I can watch this cosmic vibration as it moves through the months and be able to share with you some of the big themes of that cosmic energy field as it affects the human energy field and how you can be aligned to it. Simple practices, exercises or techniques that you can align your energy system within so that the month in all of its magnificence, whether that's gifts of challenge or gifts of ease, can really help support you as you move through the month. So I've written about this month and also the overview of the year. In my blog, you'll be able to see that at my website, pruneharris.com. In this video, I want to help align you to the amazing steely pink of January. And first, let's just look at a couple of the themes. I've already stated that determination of the heart. It's the place of being able to discern what you need at your deepest level. So wisdom, discernment, and active choice. Those are great themes for this month. And also being your own soul guardian, being guardian of your own soul. And in my membership video, I explain that more and I take you through practices that can really help you support that amazing unfolding, emerging need within your deepest energy for you to be even more you. Let's move on to ways that you can really work to align your system this month so that despite any potential buffeting, despite all of the bigness that this year and this month will bring to each of us as humans, you can really stay close to that energetic core, that central energy that I think of as being your soul energy. Now, of course, from that core, your radiant soul emanates through everything that you are, your entire body system, all of your biofield, your aura, and even beyond that. All right, first of all, let's just bring our hands to our hearts. And let's take a breath here. You can close your eyes if you're comfortable to do so, and whether you're sitting, standing, or lying, just come closer to yourself. You can think of it as inviting yourself home. Dropping away from some of those big to-do lists or the needs for you to be active. Finding your way closer to your own center. However you perceive that, wherever you perceive that. And you can place one hand on your forehead, one hand on the lower abdominal area. And just invite your breath to balance. And 
allowing your breath awareness to drop into your belly. And recognizing that each in-breath you take brings fresh energy, fresh life, fresh oxygen into every single cell that you have. And then we're going to take both hands to the pubic bone. And from there, you're just going to smooth up the entire center of your body, up to your head. And then you're simply going to move over the back of the body, back down, over the glutes, and back to the pubic bone. Come up the center again over the top of the head. Wherever you can pick it up in the back, no strain. Over the glutes and back to the pubic bone and one last time. Helping strengthen the central and the governing meridians. Helping bring that focus onto the energetic core. Now we're going to connect your dantians, these amazing energy power centers that you have in the lower abdomen, the chest, and in the upper head area. So first of all, place your hand facing down so that maybe the, the heel of your hand is in line with your belly button. And you're simply going to place one hand pointing down towards your feet. With the other hand, you're gonna do the opposite. You can have the heel of your hand on the bridge of your nose, pointing up towards your crown. You can relax the back of your neck, maybe even just tuck your chin, or at least relax your chin down a little bit. And again, bring your awareness close to your center. You can imagine, think about, feel, or just know that amazing energetic core that runs through the very center of your physicality. With the sun star above your head, the earth star beneath your feet. That amazing super highway of energetic filaments. A continuing your core energy, your soul energy throughout all that you are. Let's take three more breaths here. Really relaxing. Allowing, allowing the determination of your heart to relax momentarily. For you to feel safe and protected inside your own energy field. Trusting it. Knowing that this hold supports your core, energizes your aura, activates your auric membrane. So it's as if you've got an amazing cloak of protection and connection. Lovely. So bringing your hands back to your heart, just take a moment here. How does that feel to you? How does your body feel? How does your mind feel? Where are your emotions or thoughts? Invite a settling 
Invite a coming home. Invite a connecting. Okay, so we're going to finish with one exercise to really help enliven that auric membrane, this amazing membrane, much like your skin encases all of your body, then this auric membrane encases all of your aura. It's an amazing, amazing layer that it has immense wisdom and sentience throughout it, as all of your energy fields do but it stops anything coming in that doesn't serve you. And you can still connect magnificently through it into everything or everyone that you wish to connect with. So don't think of it so much as a shield that blocks things out, but this amazing layer of wisdom that helps you feel safe, feel vibrant, it helps keep your energy in so that you're not leaking it in various places and it's absolutely essential for your big health, for your experiencing of the world in safety, strength and connection. So I want you first of all to visualize that and if it's helpful then on my website, I've got many, many images of the human energy field. So you can go and have a look at those. So you really get a great picture of the fact that you have an energy field. You have your biofield, yeah? Comes from the core, radiates out through all of your body. And you want that energy from the core that we've just been working on to really help strengthen. You want it to come out into that auric membrane, help create that beautiful buffer, and then come back to you. Yeah. So you want this image of having that beautiful sort of recycling of your own energy so that you remain, yes, connected into everything else and there's many parts of your energy system, your chakras, your earth star and sun star that connect you outside your auric membrane. But you want it so that it's nurturing you and nourishing you. So really see if you can capture that image in your mind. Think about it. What would it look like if you were going to draw your aura in its vitality? If you were going to draw that auric membrane, how, what color would it have? How would it look? How would you describe its vitality right now? So being able to think about it, perhaps feel it, perhaps see it, certainly hold the awareness of it. From that place, you're going to put one hand on your heart, whichever hand feels right to you. And your other hand, you're just going to raise out so that your arm is gently extended and the palm is facing away from your body. And from there, you're going to just spin your arm around wherever you wish to, to really enforce that auric membrane and you can keep your palm pointing down as you point it beneath your feet of course you're not touching your auric membrane right now but my goodness the energy from the palm of your hands will be really extending same as behind your body you can simply move your hand behind directing the energy of your palms into that auric membrane. So you can get the idea almost that you're spinning a strength into your aura. You can use both hands. Keep thinking about it, feeling into it, being curious about it. Knowing that as you're taking your awareness to it, as you're moving your arms, then your heart field, your core is emanating more and more to make sure that that auric membrane is resilient 
vibrant in holding you really, really strong this month. All right, you can work with that whenever you want to this month. Great to do it regularly so that you really help build that resilience. Really hope that we get to share the soul guardian exercises and practices that I bring forward on my membership channel. And I look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye-bye.